Climate change is a huge threat to agriculture. The growing population needs more food. But our crops and livestock will suffer. Our best hope is to support peasants and establish food sovereignty. If those farmers think we can survive climate change without agribusiness science, they're just wrong. We need big data and new genetic technologies. And I need food. Hey, I heard what you said after that UN meeting, and I've got a few kernels to pack with you. Like what? Like, peasants are the ones who actually get food to the people who need it. They are the ones who are using food diversity to get us ready for climate change. These big guys are wasting time, money, food, and destroying diversity. Ha, <laughs> give me a break. Look at all these food around us. Look at the diversity. I don't like corporations any more than you do. But they are the ones that have the technology to put the most food on the table. We need to talk. Welcome to the Peasant Food Web. It is the most important food source for 70% of the world. That's made up of the 3.5 billion rural people, 1 billion urban farmers, 800 million people who depend on small-scale fishing and fisheries. It's especially important for people in Africa, Asia and Latin America. Peasants do lots of different things at different times. Some farm and fish, some are also hunters and gatherers, some live in the city part of the year or all year. Sometimes they feed only their families, sometimes they sell to the markets. They grow a lot of food and share it with a lot more people. So, where is agribusiness? Where is the food chain? It's hard for the chain to profit from people who don't have much. Their food barely reaches the rural and urban poor, except for cheap and harmful processed junk. But, if that's true, where does all that food from the chain go? 50% goes to feed livestock, but only 12% of that comes back as animal products. 9% goes to fuel cars. A lot is lost in food processing. And a quarter is wasted on snack foods and soft drinks that are bad for our health. Okay, I understand food waste and unhealthy food, but can peasants really produce that much food? Oh, yes! The peasant food web harvests more than half of the world's total food calories. In cities, more than one-third of meat and more than two-thirds of eggs come from the web. And small-scale fishers harvest a quarter of the global catch. And that doesn't even consider hunting and gathering, which is also really important for lots of people. And peasants feed 70% of the people with less than 25% of agricultural resources. Well, I'm not sure I buy all this, but I'd like to learn more. Stick with me. We are just beginning.